And with some people affected by the serious flooding last week, the American Red Cross wants to make sure you are prepared and that you do have a plan for the next time bad weather hits. So Christina, what can people do to stay on top of things? Well, Jolena, you always think you know what to do when you're in a crisis until you're actually in one. Do you have everything you need if there's a fire or a tornado? And what if your house floods? There's worst case scenarios, but the Red Cross wants you to start having those kinds of conversations so that you and your family are ready for anything. Navigating flood waters in West Texas doesn't happen often, but when it does, talk about a headache. Homes and businesses in Midland County were under at least an inch of water. The Red Cross has been in these neighborhoods the last week, working to get families to safety. To, you know, the people that are in the flooded areas right now, the most important thing is for them to stay safe and to make sure they're not wading through contaminated water or, um, you know, to, to get to a safe place. And that's what we're trying to help people do right now. But preparedness is key. The Red Cross has a checklist for families to follow in an emergency while at home or on the road. So there are two kinds of kits that you should have. You should have one for um, the shelter in place and you should have an emergency kit for evacuations. Also, it's important to have an emergency preparedness kit in your car. So if you have to evacuate, you'll have your necessary items with you. Um, and that's really one of the most important things you can have besides having a route to get out of your neighborhood. Having that emergency preparedness kit is really incredibly important. A few items Austin suggests includes a radio, flashlight, first aid kit, water, hand wipes, disposable toothbrush, and medication. And most importantly, have all loved ones contact information on hand at all times. You want to make sure that everyone in your family has um, the ability to contact each other without using their cell phone maybe. So have a written list in your wallet of your grandmother and you know kids and everyone that you might need to reach out to have those, those um, numbers written down so that you can use them. Now, the Red Cross checklist can be accessed on the Red Cross website and printed out for you and your family to keep in your emergency kits. There is a family plan section that you can also fill out so that everyone knows what to do and where to go if an emergency occurs.